too red. And then create another one more of the blue to the lips. I'll just remove it. Take the mineral out. Look okay if you do that. And then, same thing like I did with the foundation, I'm going to mix a bit of colors. Um, I'm going to take a bit of this, this red here, just put a little bit on my palette now, probably I need a little bit of that orange. And then I'm going to take a bit of this coppery, coppery copper color, and a bit of this nude. I started out as art school and I like to make my own colors, so that's kind of what happens when I do those ones. Um, and then I am going to mix a bit of matte in the class with it. And this is how you create lipstick. Um, and just put a bit of it on the palette layer. So there you go. And I'm going to take a, this is actually a concealer brush, but I like it for lips. And that's kind of, it's like a pretty current color there. And because it has the gloss in there, it's going to go on nice and sheeny. And make it sheer, so that it's very very nice color. As it would if it were just a straight up lipstick. It's just a pretty orangey, currency, raspberry-ish kind of look. And then all I'm going to do as the last thing is go back in with the alabaster with my concealer brush. And just take a little bit of it. Right in our mouth. And it's making my lips just pop. You just have to be very careful, and you might want to use a smaller brush than this so that you don't get any of the lip color on the way. So just make sure to blend it out. And that's a wedding look. So it's really pretty for fall if you have like an ivory champagne color dress. If you're doing fall tones that are harvesty and orange and brown and cranberry, it's a really, really pretty look. If I had a veil on, it would work. <laughs> uh, until next time.